Hey Hitesh, why are we talking about WordPress? Shouldn't we be talking about React, Next.js, Telvin, Solidity, or something a bit more fancy like Flutter or React Native? This is exactly what I want to give you in this video, a fresh perspective on the WordPress. WordPress is considered as a bit outdated, not so much as modern, and the pro programmers who are into the fancy world of JavaScript shouldn't be touching it. This is not a good perspective. This video is going to revolve all around a fresh take on the WordPress so that I can give you a bigger and a broader perspective of WordPress so that you can know there are so many opportunities around, there is so much money to make, there is so much business that you can actually create as well as there are a ton of opportunities lying around and still you can use all of your JavaScript skills. Let's go ahead and get started. My goal in this video is to give you a fresh take on WordPress. In the world of YouTube, where we talk more about Solidity, Blockchain, React, JavaScript, Next.js, Tailwind, CSS, and all those fancy stuff, WordPress sometimes lags behind. And obviously, you are making a lot of your perspective about the technologies from these famous YouTube channels in which WordPress is rarely discussed. In this video, I will change this perspective and will give you the how the reality actually works in, how much profit you can make, how much business you can make, you can entirely set up your uh, a startup just on the WordPress as well, and you can make a great amount of money as well. Also, it's not really outdated, it's not like you're always gonna be using PHP or something, People are using the cutting edge JavaScript and all those server side rendering and pretty much every technology in the WordPress as well. How do I know? We use it actually. I'm gonna share all of that, but before we move further, go ahead, hit that subscribe button because it is absolutely compulsory here now. Also, I would like to give a big shout out to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much Hostinger for sponsoring this video. It helps me really to produce these high quality videos and create more crash courses so that I can teach people more effectively and more efficiently. So big shout out to Hostinger. I'll come back onto that in a minute, but first, let's come to the topic. First, let me bring your attention onto the world of WordPress by saying that in the world of React, we know that Next.js and Gatsby, these are really very competitive edging and they are kind of a state of the art as of now and highest in the modern of the tech. And on the blog of Gatsby, they use WordPress. So there is something about the WordPress which is missing, which is not in the topic of discussion and we need to bring that in. So now that I have your attention that guys like Gatsby who are always working on the cutting edge of React and building on top of the React are also using WordPress. So what is all there and what you should know all about the WordPress? Let's go ahead and get started. Now, first and foremost, you need to have an open perspective. WordPress is not outdated. It is absolutely fresh, absolutely new, and some of you might be surprised to know that it still holds 43% of the market share of the entire website. Goddamn 43%. And it has been rising since the uh, last four or five years. Now, WordPress is not something which is used by a hobby blogger or something. It's not like that. It is being used as a full blown content management system. And you might have used other content management system as well, but the way how WordPress is performing, it is remarkable. Not only the small kind of a hobby blogs, it's being used in the full-fledged e-commerce store and a ton of other things as well. So first, get this perspective out that it is dated, it's not being used, it's not cutting edge, it is absolutely fresh, absolutely new, and still the dominant player in the market. And whenever there is a dominant player in the market, you cannot avoid it. Let me give you more example on this one. For example, we don't have that much of dominance of iOS in India, but the dominance of iOS is pretty much high in the United States. So if you're planning to launch a startup in the United States, you gotta go onto the iOS train and you need to launch your app on iOS. Similarly in India, in the world of United States, the Android is, yeah, secondary thought, but in, the, in India, if you want to survive and if you want to launch your startup, Android should be your absolute first priority. And why is that? simply because of the market share. Now that we have established a fact that market share plays a very important role in setting up a business or a startup, you cannot ignore WordPress. But the way how WordPress was used like five years ago or something, this has changed entirely. Now WordPress is majorly used as headless CMS. And great question, what is a headless CMS? Now in early days, WordPress was used as an entirety of one thing, 
you are going to be using it as a back end, you are going to be using it as a front end. But sometimes people have faced that there are some issues in rendering all the pages from the database of the WordPress. So nowadays what people do is they use it as a headless. There is That means there is no front end of the WordPress. You can just log in into admin panel, you can post your content, edit your uh, images, or you can just list more products for the selling and do everything that you want to do. Now on top of that, what they do is they don't serve this same WordPress onto the front end part of it. In fact, they use all the bleeding edge tech like Next.js or Gatsby or any other similar kind of a React framework that is built around and they have a 100% full compatibility in serving all the content through the WordPress. So now imagine years and years of matureness as a content management system and you can now inject Gatsby or similar platform into that which is gonna provide you absolute insane crazy speed. In fact, recently we did upgrade for one of our client and he was having 800,000 records, property records on their uh, website, which is entirely driven by the Word WordPress. And we didn't want it to change it because there's so much going in that. We just kept it as it is and moved a, the front end into the, into the Gatsby. It was fantastic. The speed that we got, the server side rendered pages, all the SEO optimization, it was blasting speed. And that with the 800,000 records, property records that needs to be listed, oh boy, the speed, we loved it. Now, obviously I do understand that Gatsby a bit more edge towards the WordPress. It provides out of the box solution. Even you can create a starter project, which is gonna have all the settings for WordPress. There are a lot of plugins with that. And that's why you're gonna see in the community of the WordPress and people who are working on the WordPress, they tend to lean towards Gatsby more, but it's a not really drastically different from Next.js or even Core React. Yes, they are all built on top of React. So you'll be absolutely comfortable in working there. Now moving into the business side of it. So obviously you are a programmer, you have your skills in JavaScript and now you have realized that you can actually use that in WordPress. So it is absolutely relevant in 2022 and a further years as well. So what can you do and how you can build a startup around the WordPress which can generate really good amount of money? And again, it's not gonna magically fall from the tree. You have to do your market research. You have to build in some great product which is used by people, client service, public service. Everything needs to be there. But yes, there is a big opportunity here. And let me just show a thought, a perspective about it. Now, before we move forward, let's address the sponsor of this video. So big shout out and thanks to Hostinger. We have been enjoying Hostinger services even before uh, I got in touch with them. So they are absolutely fantastic. And one thing that I absolutely love about them is they have now their data centers in India, which is sometimes a lot of requirement for us. And I'm really happy that they have done it. They provide some of the most affordable services and it's really, really cheap for us to actually have Hostinger in that. They provide you India-specific pricing that I absolutely love. I'll show you their pricing and a couple of details as well. And you can also use the coupon code Hitesh7 to get an additional 7% discount in case you want to buy something. Now, Hostinger provides you some of the hosting services as well, and you can go for WordPress Hosting India. And if you'll go for that and look for the pricing of the Hosting India, it's really, really awesome. You can just get a 69 rupees for one, uh, one of the website. If you want to go for a cloud hosting, you can host up to 300 websites, so 300 clients for you. That is really, really good. And they have kind of unlimited bandwidth. Of course, it comes with a fair pricing policies, but they have pretty generous amount of bandwidth, so you wouldn't be uh, minding it at all. 300 websites are pretty good for just seven. 99 rupees they have uh, a lot of sales coming in also you can use my coupon code and uh, they're pretty nice we have used their support services a couple of times and they are pretty accurate and fast on that. Now moving back onto the part that how you can build up a startup around all of that and give you a little bit of perspective that how much of the market share is actually there for you to capture. In the world of WordPress, there is a lot of plugins out there. Some free, some paid, some freemium version of that. Even to convert your basic CMS of the WordPress into a headless CMS, you need to install some of the plugins so that all the data can be thrown up using the GraphQL uh, tech stack. So these kinds of plugins, a lot of them are free and a lot of them are premium as well. A lot of people believe that it's all free, we don't need to buy, but no, that's not the case. Thousands and thousands, probably millions of people actually use a lot of these plugins. Let me walk you through with a couple of them and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be very, very interested on that. So WordPress has got a lot of, lot of famous plugins and here are some of the few ones that I would like to bring your attention of them. First one obviously is WP Farm. This is like a no brainer, everybody knows that. Uh, and look at the pricing, $299 a year. And there are also pro for $199 a year, but it depends on how many sites you're using and how many sites you're required. So yeah, pretty much pricey there. And they have a basic plan of $39 as well. Then another one is this uh, AIO SEO. So there are a lot of SEO uh, 
things and SEO plugins available up here. And yeah, I don't want to click that. But look at the pricing. They have $99, $49 or something like that for a basic site. And everybody uses one or the other kind of SEO plugin. Probably not this one, but definitely some other one as well. Another one is MemberPress. If you want to host membership programs or membership on your website, uh, this is like the most de facto plugin that everybody uses. But yeah, everybody is always looking around what kind of alternatives we have and do we have any uh, alternative which is providing similar services and can be a little bit cheaper. So look at the pricing. Uh, 179 a dollar a year and just for one website and you can also check out what kind of options they do provide another one is this push engage uh, really really popular simply because they have a freemium model really insanely popular got really great hype in the last couple of years but it's it's been around for a while and they charge nine dollar a month a year but look at the amount of people that they are using they send 15 billion notification and not only that uh, look at that how many people are actually using this the numbers uh, that you can see around here are like really really good so in general there is a lot of traffic and there is a lot of audience that is potentially maybe waiting for you now that you have understood that yes, there are a lot of people who are using paid premium plugins and these pricing are a bit on the higher side, $200, $300, which is nothing in the countries like Europe and uh, United States of America. But for India, it can be a little bit. Now, let me give you a fresh perspective on that. Let's just say you have figured out that, yeah, these are expensive. I can build a similar kind of plugin, but can offer even premium services and can make it more affordable. Probably instead of charging $300, you charge $50. And I'm saying that let's just say it didn't scale up that well. You just get a thousand clients and you are not able to get more. But now look at the mathematics here. Thousand clients paying you $50 every month. So that's a really nice $50,000 every month if you are able to get kind of a decent plugin which solves somebody's problem. So again, as I told you, there is a lot here. And again, don't think like there's a free version available so people are not gonna buy the premium one. Premium products are always being sold and those who are gonna buy are always going to buy for that. There are thousands of companies, thousands of startups which are not as fancy as you see around in the newspaper or YouTube channel, but they are making millions of dollars every year because they have great plugin, a team who is designing and always optimizing these plugins and are serving millions of people. So think about it, don't just disregard WordPress because hey, it's outdated. You need a fresh perspective on that and fresh take on that. I hope that this video was able to give you a fresh perspective on the WordPress and the scenario of the WordPress in 2022. I hope that this video will help you to think about that what you can build next and maybe your startup scale up really, really amazingly. Maybe I'll get an iced tea too. So that's it for this video. Hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, check out the hostinger as well. Use the coupon code HITESH7 in case you are planning to buy anything as well. Again, big shout out and thank you so much hostinger for helping me in creating these awesome videos. And you guys, hit that subscribe and let's catch up in the next video. How was it?